like it's on screen, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to share it with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 See if you can hear it right there, right there, right there, right there. Let me crack walk over here somewhere. You want to do it on the camera? Let me leave, bruh. Hello, hello. All right, Shalawam, 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 another GMS on the go back with another lesson. Got a brother Nakam with me, and the brother Hawad. Hey, look, just want to, um, quick little open forum, man. Hey, but first and foremost, we want to always give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, fair of air, man, we're going to hop right into it. Let me get that, bro, so can the 15th chapter. Mm -hmm. Just open for him, man. Just keep that ball rolling, man. Just keep the ball rolling. You know, we're at the end of this thing, man. You have Bush Mel Shot is about to close the deal. Like, like, anytime you open up a new business, you got a grand opening. Well, this business, a.k.a. America, a.k.a. Babylon, the land of confusion, is slowly but surely closing, man. We're in the final seconds of this business closing for good, man. And it's a beautiful thing, man. Go ahead, bro. This is Second Andrews, chapter 15, verse 1. Right. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people right. the words of prophecy. And then hold on, and then hold that right there, get on Revelation 19 and 10. Speak thou, it says behold, which means to look. Get the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Digest it. Eat the whole roll. Go out there to the highways and byways, pursuant to St. Matthew um, 22 and 9. And speak the words of prophecy unto my people. Tell the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans what's going to happen before it even happens, man. That's our job. Starting off with the head apostles and the elders, the elder bishops, and the other elders and the men on down. Our job is to feed our people with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, man. Feed my people. You know, it's just like you eat every day, right? If you got any kids, they eat every day, right? You got any animals, they eat every day. No matter what type of animal it is, whether it's a fish, whether it's a dog, whether it's a bird, whether it's a cat, man, or any kind of a rodent, they need to eat each and every day, right? How much more are people when it comes to the words that you have about Shemiah was shot? The words of prophecy, what we do week in and week out, we prophesy. And then right after that, after you get that um, 19, mm -hmm. Revelation, go straight to... Um, Jeremiah. Yeah. This is 2nd Edris, chapter 15, verse 1. As soon as you finish with that verse right there, go straight to um, Revelation 19 to 10. Go ahead. The 2nd Edris, chapter 15, verse 1. Right. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Right. Which I will put in thy mouth, says the Lord. That's right. And call them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right. So the words that we speak. They're faithful and true. They've been coming to the past. The men of the Lord been prophesying, man. Since the beginning of so-called time. You know? When the Heavenly Father, the Most High, um, who you even call God, the Most High, Yahweh created time, he had men prophesy then. You know what I'm saying? So I prophesying then, right? So let's get that right quick and we're going to come right back. Mm -hmm. After you read that, don't get that on um, Jeremiah. Okay. This is Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. Right. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. Right, John the Revelator seeing an angel. He was getting ready, he was getting ready to bow to the angel, but the angel said, Don't bow to me. Because you got men out there teaching that we're supposed to worship angels. Well, this is a cut right here, man. This is a reproof. This is a correction scripture to those Israelites out there that's worshiping angels. Don't worship angels, man. Alright? We worship we worship the creator, not the creature, right? Go ahead. See thou do it not. Right. I am thy fellow servant. Right. The angels are our brothers, man. We all got a job to do. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And of thy brethren. Right. They have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. That's right. Worship Yahweh. Right. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right. So the men of the Lord, 
the men that have been chosen from the foundations of the earth, what are they going to be doing? Prophesying. Because why? That's the spirit of the Lord. Yeah, I was shy, man. Our Lord and Savior, man. I created him, man. All right? So we're going to prophesy. We're going to show you according to the scripture what the men of the Lord are going to prophesy about, though, right? Go ahead. This is Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. Right. The prophets that have been before me mm -hmm. and before thee of old. Right. Prophesied. They prophesied. They told you what was going to happen before it even happened, man. So you wouldn't have no CCC Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're not going to have any excuse in that day, man. You know? Because the men of the Lord prophesying to you. Things are going to happen sometimes hundreds, sometimes thousands of years before it even happened, man. Then Noah, he prophesied for 120 years. Told our people what's going to happen before it even happened, a.k.a. the flood. Our people didn't listen, but then it eventually happened. Going right back to Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, man. Don't sleep on Lord Yahweh Shai. Don't sleep on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. It says, both against many countries. Right, so the men of the Lord, they're going to prophesy against many countries, man. All right, go ahead. And against great kingdoms. Right, a.k.a. Um, Moses prophesying against um, Egypt, ancient Egypt. And on up to this day right here, 2021, the men of the Lord prophesied against um, kingdoms, you know what I'm saying, countries and great kingdoms. America is a great kingdom still, you know. The scriptures call it the chief of the nations. Go ahead. It says of war. Right, so the men of the Lord prophesied of war. I didn't hear, I didn't hear peace yet, man. I didn't hear love yet. I didn't hear the word love yet. I didn't hear the word peace yet. I didn't hear the word, everybody come together and let's get along yet. I heard the men of the Lord prophesying a war. You know what I'm saying? Prophesying against many countries, great kingdoms. What else, bro? And of evil. And of evil. The men of the Lord. What? The men of the Lord prophesied of evil, meaning bad times. What? The men of the Lord tell you things are going to get real bad before it even happened? Because that's the words of prophecy, man. I always talking about you got our people come up week in and week out. Where is the love? You know what I'm saying? Bring out the scriptures of love. Well, this is love. The Lord is showing you love before he comes to destroy this place and giving you warning. That's love. When you give somebody a warning before something drastic happens to them, you can't get no more love than that. Yes, you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. Or it's a dude down there knocking everybody's head off. You know what I'm saying? There's another dude right behind him, you know what I'm saying, shooting people. Yo, don't go down that way. Well, I just showed you some love by giving you a warning on what's going on down the street. What do you mean? Yeah. So the men of the Lord prophesy of evil, man. Evil. Right. Meaning bad times, man. You got a race war. You got class wars, civil wars, famines, and then hold it um right after you read that, bro. Get um Matthew the twenty fourth chapter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Started um what is it, six? Yeah. Started six. We're just gonna read eight and that's it. it. Read that last part of eight. It says of war. Right. And of evil. Right, so so World War Three is gonna be the end all be it all for this place, man. And that's and that's fast and approaching. Why you think we cut on the camera? You have a boy, Shemel Shai had us turn on the camera, man, to give you warning from him, man. You know? Matter of fact, bro, hold, hold that. Get on um, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Because, look, the, the scripture, um, 2nd Ezra 15, chapter said, look, speak with my words unto him, right? Speak unto my people the words of prophecy, meaning to the Israelites. Go to the Israelites because this word is for them. Let them know what I'm going because the Lord is going to eradicate this place from off the face of the earth, whether you like it, whether you, whether you just bought a new home or a brand new car, no say or just put brand new curtains in your crib. That don't matter. It's all gonna burn soon, come man. All right, we look for new heavens and new earth, man. Cause right now the wicked is bearing ruling, man. It ain't no good here. Ain't no rest here, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. This is Ezekiel chapter three, verse seventeen. Right. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Right. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Right. Why do you think we always watching the news? Keeping up with current events. Seeing what's going on in our backyard. You know what I'm saying, bro? Seeing how the neighborhoods are changing up. Gentrification, man. Because we have been made watchmen until the house of Israel. We give you the latest news reports. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We give you the latest happenings through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. If plane crashes happen, train crashes, latest shootings. You know what I'm saying, bro? Thunders, earthquakes, all that, man. Tsunamis. Whatever happens on the face of the earth. You know what I'm saying? Issuing in, issuing in new technology. You know what I'm saying? For the people, you know what I'm saying, bro? New new devices, you know what I'm saying? Tricks, plots, schemes of the devil. Through the spirit of your house, by Shemel Shai, we let you know before it even happened, man. So you won't get caught off guard. But the ones that get caught off guard, those are the ones that won't pay attention to what was being said, right? Mm -hmm. Some more to that, bro? Verse 18. 
No, just read 17 again. Okay. This is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Right. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Right. Therefore, did the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. Right, so before all hell break loose, no excuses. Romans, the 10th chapter. Have they heard? Yes, verily, they heard, man. So no excuses. When you howl about Shemel Shai, have something roll upon you, the spirit's creative avengers roll upon you. Don't act surprised, man. All right? Because you was giving a warning over and over. You've been getting warned since the late 60s, man. Up until now, bro. What is that, 50 years? 60 years? Something like that? 69? Up until now? It's worth a Google. Mm -hmm. It's worth a Google. I'm going I'm to I'm Google it right quick. Speak, bro. That's right, man. You know what I'm saying? I just want to um, read that and then speak and then however you want to do it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, this is Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. You know, which Israel is a people before it's a place, you know, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, you Israelites. You know, and at the end of the day, that's where you have a small shot that got a Bible, has made certain men upon the face of the earth. You know, starting with our head apostles of Great Millstone, on down to younger brothers like ourselves. We have become watchmen until you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans. You know, and when you look at some of these ancient war movies, what does a watchman do? They watch out for oncoming danger. You see, and then when they see oncoming danger come, they blow the trumpet. Well, that's what we're doing. We're blowing that trumpet. We're giving you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans warning on what's to take place upon the face of the earth in these last days. 52 years. 52 years of warning you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. From 1969 to 2021, that's 52 years of warning you busy headed nappy-headed, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. And, uh, and the majority of our people still ain't listening, man. That's right. So once again, when death and destruction come upon you, don't say you won't warn, you know? Mm -hmm. Let me get this Mark Scott body right quick. You know what I'm saying? Never to be seen again. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. Never to be seen again, you see? See what, see what happens when you when you come a scoffer? You never get to seen again. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's all. That's all. All scoffers, you'll never be seen again on this page ever again. You know what I'm saying? We got that raid. We got that raid, man. So all you scoffers, you'll never be seen again on this page, man. Make a, make a new account. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Go ahead, brother. It says, unto the house of Israel, therefore hear the word at my mouth right. and give them warning from me. Right, so we got the word, we heard the word, going look, ain't that Romans 10th chapter all day, I just quoted that, right? 10, 18, Hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. We heard, you know what I'm saying? Have they not heard? Yes, verily they heard. The sound went out throughout the four corners of the earth. So that by the end of this deal, you know what I'm saying? This grand closing, you know what I'm saying? By the end of the deal, Israel ain't gonna have no excuse in that day, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So let's go back to, um, you read Jeremiah, so let's go on back to 2 Ezra. The 15th chapter. We're we telling you according to the Bible that the Lord ain't bringing love, man. The Lord is going to love to kill a whole lot of Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. I want to get this right quick, bro. Just hold your horses. Hold your horses. I must be allowed to get this right quick. This is Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 25. Bear with me. Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 33, and it reads, And the slain of the Lord, meaning the killing. The Lord going to come do a whole lot of killing, right? And the slain of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, shall be at that day for one end of the earth, even unto the other end of the earth. From the, from the west to the east, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Slain, killing. You know what I'm saying? Nuclear fire, you know what I'm saying? Melting these people, man. And we letting our people know before it even happened, bro. Before this, this scripture ain't even happened yet, man. But before it happened, I'm saying this is um, a pretty much a um, precept for Isaiah the 66 chapter. Mm -hmm. I'm saying verse 15. How the Lord gonna come through with the chariot shooting laser beams and all that. This thing is green men in the chariots, man, the so-called UFOs. No, it's Lord Yahweh shot in the angels. Mm -hmm. Men of color. You know what I'm saying? Slaying the Lord gonna be from one end of the earth to the other, right? It says, they shall not be lamented. It's gonna be so many dead bodies, nobody ain't gonna have a chance to cry for nobody. You know what I mean? Lord's gonna come get busy, man. It's gonna get so bad, bro. These people ain't gonna have a chance to even cry for each other, man. You know what I'm saying? He said, they shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be dung upon the earth. Just gonna lay there like a pile of doo doo, bro. Like a pile of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna be no frontals in this time, man. You know? Closed casket. No caskets involved, bro. That's why we prophesying, man. Before it even happened. So get what you got. Yep. This is 2nd Edges, chapter 15, verse 3. Right. 
fear not the imaginations against thee. Right. Let it not then. Oh, matter of fact, hold that. Get that Matthew twenty mm fourth -hmm. chapter, start at six. We're gonna go right. We're gonna go right back to Ezra. So hold on. We're gonna right back to that. Get that um Saint Matthew the twenty fourth chapter, bro. Before things spring forth, we tell you of it according to the Bible. You ain't got to believe it. You know. Yeah. Twenty-four and um, six. yeah, I think it's six, right? Yeah. This ain't Matthew chapter twenty-four. Mm -hmm. Four, no, don't start the four. Started um, yeah, started six. Come on. This ain't Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse six. Right. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right. You're gonna hear wars and rumors of wars. You're gonna actually see wars, Papa. See, the Lord is letting you know these are clues leading up to the sign of the coming of the Son of Man, Lord. Yeah, I was shy. You see, you can hear wars and rumors of wars. Wars popping off and actual talks of wars, man. All right? We're seeing that right about now. Go ahead and see the Lord was already prophesying. The Lord prophesied this over 2,000 years ago, man. It's happening right now. You know what I'm saying? Wars, rumors of wars. Go ahead. And look, then we, we just read Revelation 19 and 10. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of prophecy is the spirit of Lord Yahweh Shai. Yep. When Lord Yahweh Shai, who you going to call it, Jesus was prophesying when he was on the scene. He said, you shall hear wars. This was over 2,000 years ago. And you shall hear wars. You want to know when I'm coming? You're going to hear wars, rumors of wars. What else, bro? It says, see that you be not troubled. Don't even be troubled. When you see all these things come to pass, do not be troubled. Go ahead. For all these things must come to pass. They must come to pass. Go ahead. But the end is not yet. Go ahead. For a nation shall rise against nation. Right. You have nation against nation, class wars, civil wars, race wars. You have um, America against China, mm -hmm. North Korea, Iran. All that is happening right about now, man. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And these different other countries, man, going to heads, they, going head on to each other, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. For a nation shall rise against nation. Right. And kingdom against kingdom. We ain't read peace yet. We ain't read love yet. Only thing we're hearing about, you know what I'm saying, is destruction, bro. Yep. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Go ahead. And there should be famine. And look, and you're going to famine getting ready to pop off. Prophesying. The Lord, Lord, straight up and down, prophesying right here, man. Going in. Lord, y'all shot going in, man. He said all these things going to happen. And guess what? And I'm going to send a famine upon the earth. You see? A, a lack of bread, man. A lack of natural resources, man. No more cupcakes, no more potato chips, no more McDonald's, Burger King, no more Costco, Sam's Club, whatever, man. Piggly Wiggly, no more uh, corner store bodegas for the people that live up north and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying, bro? Go ahead. And pestilence? Pestilence, enough diseases, man. More than what you see in there, man. You think the AIDS was something? You think HRRH? What is it, H1N1? You think that was something? You think the SARS was something? The Lord, like, you ain't seen nothing yet, man. I'm going to bring all the plagues of ancient Egypt and all the pestilence of ancient Egypt. I'm going to bring that, and I'm going to bring things that ain't even real, man. This is a cold deal, man. Go ahead. It says, and earthquakes in diverse places. Right. And look, more earthquakes than a little bit. I'm going to go to earthquake at right quick. You know? The Lord, have me get that scarf out of there quick, though, right? Yeah. No, no more. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um... It's time to go, ba 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 ba. Yeah. So far, 126. Matter of fact, 171 earthquakes today, man. Yep. You know, today is the second, right? Mm -hmm. The second of June. It's June, right, bro? And it's June. Yep. It's June. It's a whole lot of mobs, ain't it? Yep. 171 earthquakes, and the day is still young. Today, 414 earthquakes this month. It says earthquake, where, bro? It said in earthquakes in diverse places. In earthquakes in diverse places. You had an earthquake in Fiji. You had an earthquake in Alaska. You had an earthquake in Hawaii. You had an earthquake in the Philippines. Um, in Japan. New Mexico. Um, Tagastan. What else? Turkey. Puerto Rico. New Zealand. You know what I'm saying? Idaho. Um, Papua New Guinea. California. That's earthquakes in diverse places, man. The Lord said, the Lord been prophesying, man. You people just not catching up to what he was saying. You know what I'm saying, bro? He been delivered the message to his um, disciples at that time, later known as the apostles. Mm -hmm. So earthquakes in diverse places, go ahead. All these are the beginning of sorrow. Man. Oh, yeah, and it's an earthquake, you know what I'm saying, happened in Tennessee. It was the closest one to us. You know what I'm saying? You know, 
Little um, 1244 too. 144, you know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What did it say, bro, that last part? It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. Lord Yahweh should say, look, great misery is going to come upon these people, man. I'm seeing enough plagues. I'm, I'm about to decapitate the majority of these people, man. I'm about to show these people that I was never meant to be played around with. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord and uh, jump to um the love of many wax and cold. First love. And then um the one about, um and then the end going to come. The gospel, and then 21. And then I think it's something else. Um, the days of Noah, we we'll, might as well keep on going on down. You know what I'm saying? God. You know, go ahead. This is St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 12. Right. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right. We just um seen a post, you know what I'm saying? Elder Yashirama, um did a post. Uh, you had some 12 year olds and some 13 year olds in Orlando, I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? They use um, AKs and all that, man. On some, on, some, on some police earlier. You know what I'm saying, bro? Mm -hmm. The love of men in the West Cold already, man. You got 12 and 13 year olds, you know what I'm saying, popping caps, um, using assault rifles, you know what I'm saying, bro? Military style weapons, you know? Go ahead. It says, verse. That's why that's why I want to surprise, you know what I'm saying, for us to hear about people fighting each other when it was a so called so called gas shortage. You know what I'm saying, bro? And a and a tissue shortage. Tissue now, bro. You know what I'm saying? All these trees that are cutting up, you know paper come from wood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All these trees got cut down, but ain't no more tissue. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, bro? Come on now. Yeah? People fighting over tissue in the grocery store. People fighting that gas at the gas station, man. The love of men in the West Cold already, man. Go ahead. Verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. And this gospel, meaning this good news, good for some, bad for others, and this good news of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why the scripture tells us to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is within us. It starts off with this word. Then shall the end come, man. That's why right about now we're not allowed, so-called allowed, to say certain words. You know what I'm saying? You say certain words, you know what I'm saying? That's why we got to speak in code most definitely now. You know? You got to really be keeping up with videos now, bro, because the code is starting to change now, man. The language is starting to change now. So if you ain't watched videos in like a month, you know what I'm saying? You've you been out of the loop. You know what I'm saying? You've been out of the loop. You really don't know what the slang is right about now, man. You know? We got we to change up the dialect now, bro. You know what I'm saying? The dialogue. When we dialogue, you know what I'm saying? On these videos, we got to change it up now. You know what I mean? Why? Because we're at the end. This gospel has been preached throughout the four corners of the earth. Now we're at the end now. That's why it's a famine of the word now. That's on right. a low scale. But you have by Shemel Shah is going to turn up the heat. Because our Lord is saying we're being ready to come and rule, man. It's up to the Heavenly Father, though. Some more to that? Yeah. It says, shall be preached in all the world. Right. For a witness unto all nations. Right. And then shall the end come. Now, how did this word get preached throughout the four corners of the earth? By way of the internet. By way of those satellites, man, the unicorn. You know what I'm saying? Then no matter where you at right about now, if you got internet access, you can watch a video. You can come and comment on this video right now. Then we're doing right now. Or you can see it later on, you know? Some more. Verse 21. Yeah. For then shall be great tribulation. Right. Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this same time. Right. Nor, no, nor ever shall be. And it's down, bro. Come on, read it again. This is St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. Where then shall be great tribulation. You know, so at the end of the day, we come into a time, a point in time to where all hell is going to break loose at an all-time high. It says, such as was not since the beginning of the world. You see, because there ain't no time that, that can compare to this time that we're coming into. You better have a whole bunch of prophecies that's about to outdo all these ancient times. And you know, they own, all, the, own, all the ancient prophecies that came upon the face of the earth. It says, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor shall ever be. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. You know, so at the end of the day, if these days don't be shortened, if the Lord don't hear it from the speed of the time, then ain't no flesh going to be saved. Even we going to be through if the Lord don't speed up time. It says, and this devil coming in with great wrath knowing that he only got a short time to rule. Right. Go ahead. It says, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Right. But for the elect's sake. And that's what it's all about. At the, end of the, at the beginning of the day, in the middle of the day, and at the end of the day, it's all about the elect of the nation of Israel. That's it, man. And then you blocking demons and scoffers, you know what I'm saying? They just pop back up. How the hell is they getting through? You know what I'm saying? Must be agents or something, man. Because how the hell are they popping back up? You know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? 
Turn us on the back and all this other nonsense. All you scoffers and mockers, the scriptures tell you, stripes for the, um, what it say, stripes for the back of fools and scorners and scoffers, pretty much. It's all good. That's why we, we're just going to continue on to preach, man. You know? It says, but for the elect's sake, right. those days shall be short. Those days shall be short. So time is actually being sped up. You know what I'm saying? And you had a person, you know what I'm saying, that does like, um, they, they study the earth all the time. They actually said, you know what I'm saying, that the earth is, you know what I'm saying, speeding up, man. Mm -hmm. Shit, we're in the sixth month already. This shit, we halfway through the year already, man. We halfway through 2021 already. You know what I'm saying? The year of the hasten of the coming of you. Yeah, how was shy, man? You know what I'm saying? And, and the Lord ain't doing, been doing nothing but pushing forth judgment, man. That's the end of that, right? Mm -hmm. So go back to 2nd Ezra. This is 2nd Ezra, chapter 15. Verse 3. Right. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Right. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Right. Incredulity meaning the unbelief. The majority of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, let alone these heathens, don't believe in the words of prophecy. They don't believe in the words that we speak. But the Lord said, look, don't let that trouble you. Hold that right there. Get Romans chapter 3, verse 3. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring out a couple more scriptures. We're almost that time already. Time is rolling on it. So what if some don't believe? In the words of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh was shy. So what, man? You know? Go ahead. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 3. Right. But what if some did not believe? So, so what if some didn't believe? You know what I'm saying? That incredulity. The Lord said, don't let that. These people that don't believe, don't even let that worry you. We're not losing sleep at night, my man. You know what I'm saying? We're not kicking the cover off, you know what I'm saying? Screaming, hollering, you know what I'm saying? Kicking the wall, you know what I'm saying? Airborne, you know what I'm saying? Your love, you know what I'm saying? Why ain't, why? No, man. So what if some didn't believe? Go ahead. It says, for what if some did not believe? Right. Shall their unbelief make the faith of your high body Shema Oshai without effect? Right. Shall your unbelief stop the prophecies from coming to pass? Go ahead. Your high body Shema Oshai forbid? No. 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 A big fat N-O. No. Your incredulity, meaning your belief, is not going to stop these words from coming to pass, man. All right? Go ahead. Yeah. Let your how about Shema was shy be true, but every man a liar. Right. As That's it. Oh, yeah. Go read that last part. As it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings. Right. And mightest overcome when thou art judged. Right. And the only thing that justifies our sayings is us speaking according to this word. This GMS keep pushing, Acts chapter 28, verse 24. And some believe the things which were spoken, and some believe not. So that's a nail on the coffin right there. So let's go back. Yep. We're going to bring out that like two more scriptures and we'll wrap it up. Get on, um, finish that second Ezra. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to um, get on um, second Ezra, the eighth chapter, 50. And then we'll get second Ezra, the um, ninth chapter, one and a couple of verses on down. Then we're going to wrap it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. This second Ezra chapter 15, verse 3. Right. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Right. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Right. That speak against thee. That's right. People are gonna talk junk about you. Because you believe in the words of prophecy, you know? They hated him that rebuke you from the gate. We we correct our people with the words that you have about Shimei Shot, and they're gonna hate you most definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a um, it's an all-out war on the truth, man. All right? It's an all-out war on the truth. Men are speaking the truth, it's an all-out war against us, man. That's right. Go ahead. For all the unfaithful should die in the unfaithful. Right, and that is what it is, because it takes faith to please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Without faith, you can't please. But so in the Hebrews 11th chapter, verse 6, it's impossible to please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai without faith. All the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. You 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 want to hear a love scripture? That's a love scripture for you right there. You know what I'm saying? Right. You don't believe in the words of the Lord, you're gonna die, man. Alright? Whether whether you're known, whether you're not known, whether you're a bum on the streets. Pursuant to um, 2 Chronicles 15 and 13. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Right. The Lord said he's going to bring plagues upon the world. Like right about now, what is that in Germany? You got um, a plague of mice. You got mice eating everything up, man. Come on, man. And over here in America, you got a heavy infestation of bed bugs, man. Bed bugs everywhere, man. That's the Lord right there, man. You see? What did the Lord say again, bro? It says, Behold. Said the Lord, right. I will bring plagues upon the world. Right, you know what I'm saying? Plagues, you know what I'm saying? All kind of plagues, man. It's coming to this place, man. This place through, man. The Lord said, I'm bringing plagues upon the world. Go ahead. The sword. Oh, shit. Then look up in New York. You know what I'm saying? You got them big giant New York rats by the size of cats and all that, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? You got rats up there, you know what I'm saying? I know this guy, he, he from Brooklyn. He said that, um, the rats up there be eating the cats, man. That's how you know everything upside down there, because usually the cats eat the rats, man. And I seen this video of this rat, you know what I'm saying, taunting this cat. The cat didn't even do nothing, man. The rat, like, you know what I'm saying, like right over there. The cat, like, right here. The rat went up to the damn cat, bro. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the rat was about the size of the cat anyway, too. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine, you know it's more rats than cats. So you know it's, man, come on, man. He said, you only want to go deep down up on the underground mm -hmm. parts of New York, you know what I'm saying, where them people be sleeping at. People down there getting ate alive and everything about rats and all that, but that's a whole other subject, man. More plagues, man. Go ahead. This is... Nowhere, oh yeah, going right back to Jeremiah 51. He would have healed Babylon, but she is not here to take bomb for her. You know what I'm saying? It was possible the Lord would have healed Babylon, but it ain't possible, man. Okay? So the stimulus packages, you know what I'm saying? Pumping um, money to the economy. You know what I'm saying? Um, things of that nature, man. These different bailouts, this place still going down, man. Go ahead. It says, Behold, says the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Right. The sword. Which means destruction. This is what's coming. The words of prophecy, right? Destruction is coming. Pestilences, destruction. What else? Famine. A famine, again, a lack of bread. Go ahead. A lack of food. A lack of natural resources, man. All right? No more Burger King. No more Chick-fil-A. Or whatever, man. No more nothing, man. Go ahead. It says death and destruction. So that's all you're going to see. That's all you're going to see. Death and destruction. He told all the prophets that, right? Yep. He told you, we just read Jeremiah. to go prophesy against that kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Go prophesy against that um, great um, country. You know what I'm saying? A war, evil, and pestilence. He told Ezra the same thing, right? He told Isaiah the same thing. He told Malachi the same thing. He told Peter the same thing. All of them the same thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Right. And the hurtful works are fulfilled. That's why the Lord is bringing all these things, man. Right quick, bro. Get um, uh, Sirach, get Sirach, um, um, 39. Sirach 39. And I'm thinking, uh, what, 28? Spirit of creative events. Is that 28? Yes. Yeah. This is Sirach chapter 20, 39, verse 28. Right. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Right. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, man. It's playtime now. It's go time now. You people want to play around with the Lord, so the Lord going to play around with you now. You got no spirits created for vengeance, man. And the spirits going to do, look, bro, it's mad shooting every day now, man. It's spirits created for vengeance, man. Right. And they getting in right about now, man. Every time you turn around, it's, it's, it's people getting done up out here, man. Yep. Should have took it off the earth, man. Give it up the spirit, man. Yep. Why? Because you got your spirits created for vengeance going wild now, man. Because why, bro? We're with the end. That's right. Go ahead. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. So now you got them Jeffrey Dahmer spirits out here. You know I'm saying you got them Son of Sam spirits out here. You got um, the Michael Myers spirits out here. The Jason Voorhees spirits out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got the, uh, the spirits of men being cannibals. Ted yeah, you, oh yeah, Ted Bundy. You know? Yeah, they out here now, man. And then there's a war going on outside, right? Mm -hmm. No man is safe from you, see? That's right. Go ahead. It said, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Right. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. Right, see, that's the Lord said he was bringing that. Mm -hmm. See, we're in the time of destruction now. Then those spirits created for vengeance are pouring out their force now, man. Every time you turn around, if I turn on the news right about now, I'm surprised I ain't turning on. We just walked in the crib, though. You got a remote over there where you at, bro? Might be over down the side of you. I don't know where I put the remote at. But anyway, I can't find a TV remote. But I guarantee you, if I turn on the TV right about now, you're going to see people going wild on the TV, man. You see? I don't know where I put that remote at, but we ain't going to spend no time looking for it. It's all good. Whatever would this else say, bro? It says... Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Go ahead. And in the time of destruction. And in the time of destruction. Go ahead. They pour out. In the time fear. of love. In the time of destruction. In the time of happiness. In the time of destruction. In the time of cheer. In the time of destruction. Because that's what these people are doing, right? It says in the days of Noah, they're going to be eating. They're going to be drinking. They're going to be marrying. They're going to be giving in the marriage. And to Noah entered into the ark. Mm -hmm. And so it's a family and a word. You know what I'm saying? Then all hell going to break loose, bro. Then they're going to wish they would have took heed. It was all fun just a week ago, right? It was all good just a week ago. Go ahead. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force. Right. And appease the wrath of him that made them. Right. 
Fire. Right, fire. So fire was a spirit created for vengeance. I ain't seen nothing but house fires, man. You ain't been seeing nothing but house fires, forest fires, all that, man. Created for vengeance. What else? It says in hell. In hell. I'm hearing hell storms. Heard about a hell storm the other day, man. Spirit created for vengeance. Go ahead. Damn it. A famine, that's a spirit created for vengeance. So when you ain't got nothing to eat, just remember, there was a spirit created for vengeance on you, man. Go ahead. And death. Death. And all these were created for vengeance. Right. All these were created for vengeance. This is how the Lord get you wicked people on the earth back. This is how the Lord pay people back, bro. You want to be wicked? You don't want to take heed to the words of prophecy? Then the Lord got a spirit created for vengeance just for you, man. He going to get you either way. Let that song one way or other, they're gonna find you. We're gonna get you, get you, get you, get you one way or another. He's gonna find you. You can't hide, man. You can't run. He got a spirit created with vengeance sitting there waiting on you, like, give me the order. Give me the order. He's ready, man. They ready, man. That's it. Oh no, we got some more. This is Teeth of Wild Beasts. Teeth of Wild Beasts. New remember, newly created creatures, man. Teeth of wild beasts. You have a bunch of I got some animals ready for the majority of our people sitting in the cut, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ready for all you markers and all you scholars to come on the comment boards every weekend, every time the live stream pop up. Because they got the bell, the icon bell. They put the icon bell on, bro. So anytime our videos pop up, they can come on there and scarf, right? Mm -hmm. But the Lord said, I got a spirit for vengeance created for you. Teeth of wild beasts with the long teeth, too, bro, to come down to here. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Go ahead. Scorpions. Scorpions. You know, uh, scorpion hit you one time inside of there. You know what I'm saying? Right. Go ahead. It says uh, serpents. Right. Serpents could be anything. You consider a snake a serpent. You know what I'm saying? A lizard. You know what I'm saying? A Komodo dragon. You got a Komodo dragon eating people to death, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. It says, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Right. And what's, what, what can you consider a sword? A sword is any killing instrument, right? Mainly sleazy eat. Sleazy E is a sword, man. It was created for vengeance, man. The Lord gonna let the wicked, you know what I'm saying, have his way with two-thirds of our people, man. Straight up, man. He gonna have them in a torture chain. He gonna have them un underground somewhere too, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? In a dark, secluded area. You know what I'm saying? Just going to get them, bro. That's right. What else, bro? Listen to that. They shall rejoice in his commandment. Right. The spirit is created for vengeance. Once they um, make a move on you, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna, they gonna rejoice that you have by Shemel Shai chose them. They, they put in work for them, man. That's right. Just like we rejoicing right about now. We're thinking Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. We're praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for allowing us to put in work these lessons, man. So the spirit's created for vengeance, man, to sit back in the cut, like the bro said, Ted Bundy. You know what I'm saying? Um, son of Sam. You know what I'm saying? And, and things of that nature. They sit in the cut, like, yo, I can't wait to get my chance. I can't wait to prove myself to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. You see? What else, bro? And they shall be ready upon earth. And they're going to be ready, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? They waiting for your how about Shimmy Al-Shai to say, get them, boy. Get them, boy. You know what I'm saying, bro? They're like, rrr, rrr, rrr. You know what I'm saying? Right. They, they, they just pull in the chain, bro. Like, rrr, rrr. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. It says, and they should be ready upon earth right. when need is. When need is. So the spirit created for vengeance is ready, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Give, give them the green light. You know what I'm saying? So you, so you finish with that, right? Just a little bit more. Go ahead. And when, they, and, and when the time has come, they shall not transgress his word. Right. They ain't going to say, no, that's a baby. You know what I'm saying? No, that's a uh, beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? With size 44 deep breasts. You know what I'm saying? A nice rear. No, man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to say, no, he looks like Elder Barge. Don't kill him. No, man. He looks like Tupac. Nah. They're going to be ready, man. They ain't going to transgress the words that you have about Shimmy was shot. They're going to get on board. You know what I'm saying? And look, they're going to rip you to shreds, man. That's right. That's it on that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring out two more and then we're we'll going to wrap it up. Got it. Press for time. Get um second Ezra's eight and fifty. Just a short lesson, and then we um we'll finish it off with um Zephaniah three and twelve. And Lord willing, you know what I'm saying we'll come back with another lesson. Brother got to go. He got to go to work. You know what I'm saying I just got off or whatever. So it is what it is, man. We just want to throw something. The Lord allowed us to get up for a couple of minutes, so we just want to throw something out there through the Spirit. And Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. You know. All right. This is second Ezra's chapter eight verse fifty. Right. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time right. shall dwell in the world. Right. The Lord said, look, many great miseries is going to be done to the majority of you people on the face of the earth, man. And these latter times, look, we're living in the last days. And I want to get that definition for misery right quick. Mm -hmm. Let me get that right quick. The Lord said, many great miseries are going to be done to you people in the latter time. This is the definition for misery. It's a noun, a state or feeling of great distress 
or discomfort of mind or body. Look, the Lord gonna plague that mind, bro. You you, you already see people walking around talking to themselves already. You just learn. we call we call them walkie talkies down here. You know what I'm saying, bro? People just be walking throughout the city, man, talking to themselves. Why? Because the Lord plagued that mind, man. Real quick, what the Lord said in do the um, do the run, I was mighty with madness. Right. And that's what you see these people walk around, they mad and they go, they're dumb, gone, just mad. Right. Plum mad. You know what I'm saying? Through. Through, man. It says um, unhappiness, distress. Let's see. Uh, hardship, suffering. These people get ready to lose their jobs. First, first, you're gonna lose your job. Then you're gonna lose your house. Then you're gonna lose your car. Then you're gonna lose your woman. You know what I'm saying? Then you're gonna lose your mind. You know what I'm saying, bro? You're gonna bug the hell out, right? Affliction, anxiety. These people are gonna be having anxiety attacks. The agony of defeat, torture. They're gonna, they're gonna um, end up in them torture, on um, them concentration camps. You know what I'm saying, bro? The torture chambers. Pain, discomfort. Because they, they comfort it right about now. That's why the Lord said, um, uh, in thy security, thou should be destroyed. So right about now, our people got jobs, they got cars, they got gas for their car and all that. So they ain't thinking about the words of the Lord. They got some bread, they got food in their fridge and all that. They're living their best life, yeah. But the Lord said it's going to be discomfort soon come, you know? Or they can't, you can't tell me that, right? And yeah, but the Lord going to tell you something when he bring those spirits created for vengeance. What else? Um, heartbreak, love, poverty. They're going to be bums on the street, bro. It's going to get real hectic out here, man. Depression, these people are gonna start going through depression, bro. I mean, these people start jumping off buildings and everything. They're gonna start running in front of cars. You know what I'm saying, bro? They're gonna try to off themselves. They're gonna seek death pursuant to Revelation in um, the sixth chapter or the ninth chapter and shall not find it, man. A cause or source of great distress or discomfort, man. These people are gonna lose it soon, come, bro. So go ahead. Second Edges chapter 8, verse. Oh, you look, tribulation, whoa. You know what I'm saying? Catastrophe, these people gonna really lose it all, bro. Go ahead. Yep. The second edge is chapter eight, verse fifty. Right. For many great miseries shall be done to them. Right. And in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Right. Because they have walked in great pride. And like the scriptures tell us, what is that, bro? Um, Job four and seven. Whoever perished being innocent. You know what I'm saying? So when the Lord roll out the carpet on you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hit you with them plagues, you know what I'm saying? And them different spirits created for vengeance. You won't innocent. Don't ask why me. Don't ask the Lord why me if you ain't take heed to these words, man. You know? Because it's getting ready to get real hectic in a minute. Just like that song from Snap. I don't know if you remember that song. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of hectic. It's getting, it's getting. <laughs> whenever, whenever you get a chance, soon you get in your car, type in, um, I got the power by Snap. God. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, oh, man, that, that song going in. It's, it's, it's crazy for this time, man. God. You know? It's getting kind of hectic right about now, man. And sit on that. So get um we're gonna bring out one more bro it's press for time. Matter of fact, don't even get that. I mean two more, bro. Can you do two more? Yeah. Get um get first Thessalonians. You can close the apocryphal. Get first Thessalonians chapter five. Um matter of fact, not even Thessalonians. Get um um Ephesians. Ephesians chapter five, start at 14. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bring out that last one, Zephaniah um three and five, and that'll be it. We'll wrap it up. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Right. Wherefore, he saith, await thou that sleepest. Right. Come out of that dead state. Come back to your nationality, first and foremost. You Negroes, Latins, Native Americans, speckled birds, Israelite foreigners that's been scattered. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the uh, four corners of the earth, pretty much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Come back to your nationality, first and foremost. What else, bro? And arise from the dead. Come out of that dead state, man. You know what I'm saying? Come back to your how about Shimmy I was shy. Come back to the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Because the scriptures tell us plainly, Proverbs, I think, in 21 and 16, yeah. um, the man that wandered out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. The dead represents these other nations. You don't want to be nothing like them, man. All hell breaking loose. Go ahead. It says, and Hamashiach shall give thee life. Right, your was shy shall give thee life, no sin, which is this word. Go ahead. See then that you all circumspect. Right. You're supposed to be looking around, man. When you circumspect, it's pretty much breaking down the word. You know what I'm saying? It's looking around. It's supposed to be looking around at what's going on. You're a watchman, right? Looking around at what's going on, man. Keeping up with what's going on. Go ahead. Not as fools. Not as fools. But as why? Right. Don't don't see how all this stuff going on, but the only thing you think about is clubbing. Yep. And having a good time. And getting up with chicks each and every day. You know what I'm saying? Living a careless life. No. 
Well, circumspect, not as fools, but as wise. Why, bro? Redeeming the time. Go ahead. Because the days are evil. Because the days are evil. We just read uh, 2 Ezra 8 50. The Lord's going to bring misery upon all non believers, man. Right. Straight up, man. Lamentations, mourning, woes, uh, anxiety, you know what I'm saying? Uh, poverty, all that was created for the wicked, man. Some more? Yeah. Wherefore, be not unwise. But understanding right. what the will of the Lord is. And right, and the will that you have by Shemia Shai is to come back and destroy this place, man, and annihilate it from off the face of the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? And look, and we're down with that, man. We're fine with that, you know? So that's the end of that, bro. Mm -hmm. So let's get that last one, bro. Let's get that last one. I call what I call for, bro? Zephaniah 3 and 5, and then we'll wrap it up, bro. You know what I'm saying? The brother got to go to work, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Lord willing, we'll link up, you know what I'm saying? I might come back later. And do something, Lord willing, later. I, I got something prepared through the spirit of your eye about Shemiah Shai that I want to bring out. It's real in informative. Lord willing, the elect be edified. Go ahead, bro. Three verse five? Yeah. Got it. This is Zephaniah chapter three verse five. Right. The just Lord. The just Lord, the righteous Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not Allah, Buddha, Santa Maria. You Israelites are still worshiping Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, and all that other nonsense, man. Lord gonna burn you, man. Straight up, man. Repent from that nonsense. The message for the day is repent, Israel. Turn back sorrowful for all the things that you did wrong against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And tell them that you're sorry, man. And beg for forgiveness, man. Go ahead, bro. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 5. Right. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. Right. He will not do iniquity. Go ahead. Every morning. Every every morning. Every morning. Every morning, man. Okay? Go ahead. Do if he bring his judgment to light. Right. I know when I turned on the news, it was all kind of judgment going on. Throughout the wee hours of the night, nothing but judgment, bro. You had those spirits created for vengeance going wild last night, man. Early this morning. All throughout the day, man. Up until now. It's like right about now, bro. Those spirits created for vengeance still out there, man. They don't sleep, man. They ready, man. Go ahead. Every morning do he bring his judgment to light. Right. He fell of night. Right. So every morning the Lord kills, he keeps alive, he wounds, he heals. And guess what? Neither is there any that can deliver out of his hand, man. Right. You see? Every morning you have a Bashim Yahushai got a the spirit created for vengeance going to get somebody, man. Either either that fire, that hell, them teeth of wild beasts. You know what I'm saying, bro? All that man famine. Somebody died of something this morning. Or a few minutes ago, man. So pretty much it's all. That's pretty much it on that, right? Go but ahead. The unjust know of no shame. Right, right. So, so no matter how many times they see all these people getting done up by your house, by Shmuel shot, ain't no shame, man. You know what I'm saying, bro? They shameless, man. It ain't no. I'm feel. I feel bad for what I did. You know what I'm saying. Let, let, let me don't not do that no more. Uh, look, forgive me for doing that nonsense, that wickedness. No, when it comes to two thirds of our people, two thirds, they don't think like that. You know what I'm saying? It, there's no remorse, man. So, so you have but Shemia Shai got the deal breaker then. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's called vengeance and it's called judgment. You know, and look, we ain't going to be the dead horse. The brother got to go, you know what I'm saying? So, Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. I love we're saying that. We want to always give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone. The one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit, man. Shalom. Shalom. DTA, a ball, a ball. Shalom. Shalom. Soon. Soon. And very soon. And very soon. That's right, brother.